Today I thought I'd do a little update on how the anoxic pond is going. It's been about two months since I switched the top filter from a bog to an anoxic system. So let's talk about how it's all going so far. G'day, my name is Kev. The aim of my channel and website is to help people build and maintain ponds on a budget. If that sounds like something that interests you, please like and subscribe. So around two months ago, I converted this old patio aquaponic system into a pond running Dr. Novak's anoxic filter baskets. The old system worked perfectly fine, but every now and then you've got to try new things and see how they work. At the moment, I've got a heap of white clouds in here. We also got some yabbies, but only two were added to this pond. These two were known as the Nevilles. The rest we took down the back and added to the pond down there. It would be cool if we got them breeding down there, but I suspect they've already become duck food. In the anoxic pond, I can report that the Nevilles are now just Neville. <laughs> One Neville ate the other Neville. And a Neville sighting is a rare occurrence. Today I couldn't find him anywhere. Apparently they are escape artists, so he may have left the building. I do feed him algae wafers, and they're always disappearing, so maybe he still does exist. Anyway, the fish are doing really well, and I'm feeding them twice a day. The water's still incredibly clear, and there's no algae within the pond itself. Up in the filter zones, there's a decent amount of algae, although it is disappearing. I added in a few strawberries as requested by some of you guys uh, into the old aquaponic pipe work. Uh, the rest is filled with impatience. In keeping with Dr. Novak's system, all the plants have been potted into clay kitty litter. <laughs> By the look of it, some of these strawberries aren't going to make it. Anyway, I finally did a water test, so that's mostly what I want to talk about. All the readings came back pretty good, as I suspected, because all the fish are really happy. I'm a lazy fish keeper. I normally only ever check the water parameters if I think there's a problem. The pH was normal for my ponds at around 7.5. There was zero ammonia and zero nitrite. The nitrates registered, although still quite low, at around 10 parts per million. This was a bit unusual for my ponds. Usually when I'm running a bog filter, I register zero nitrates, but I hadn't tested them in over a year, so I thought it was a good opportunity. In the courtyard pond, I read zero, uh, but then I thought maybe it's the rain. We've had a ton of rain, so the pond has had plenty of water changes over the last few months. So I went and tried the patio wine barrel pond with a bog filter, which is undercover. Again, zero nitrates. And this pond hasn't had a water change or the filter cleaned in over 12 months, only water top ups. Anyway, I'm not worried at this stage. It's still at early days for this anoxic pond and 10 parts per million for nitrate isn't bad. But one of the benefits of the anoxic filter is supposed to be the ability to gas off nitrogen. And as I've long suspected, I've inadvertently created anoxic zones within my bog filters. And that's why I always get a zero reading on the nitrate. Some people might say it's the plants, but I only use Bacopa or Impatience in my bogs. And these go dormant or die off in the winter. And even in winter, I still get a zero reading on the nitrate. Of course, it could be the duckweed or the eelgrass within the pond, 
but they don't really do much over the winter either. So while I had the test kit out, I thought I'd test uh, one of my shrimp tanks inside, the one beside the computer. The reason I wanted to test this one was because I had changed it from a tank running a sponge filter to a tank running a slow moving plenum. Again, this was to try and create anoxic conditions. Apart from the pH, because I use filtered water on this tank, the readings were basically exactly the same as in the anoxic pond outside. I had 10 parts per million nitrate. So I'm a bit confused, but I'm hoping that eventually <laughs> both this shrimp tank and the anoxic pond are going to give me zero nitrates once the filters mature. Of course, I'm going to keep these experiments running, so we'll have plenty of opportunity to see how they work. I do really like the idea of the anoxic filter. It was really easy to set up. And I can see how it would be really easy to maintain as well. <laughs> However, understanding and trusting the science is quite a leap of faith. At the moment, I can say I'm still in the bog filters a best camp. Or maybe I should say I still believe that actively moving water through the filter is best, whether that's a sponge, filter pads, rock and gravel or any other filter media. Anyway, we'll see how it all plays out over time. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Catch ya.